Hello, my name is Brandon Knapp here, and welcome to uh, my video, I guess you want you could call it, of me doing basically a thing of my top 10 favorite wrestlers of all time. And now, oh Jesus Christ, this is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> God's laggy as all balls. My camera's not on right now, which is completely fine by me. Anyway, so yep, yeah, here it is. The thumbnail. This is Brandon Knapp's 10 favorite wrestlers of all time. First off is CM Punk, who, in my personal opinion, was always was a very enjoyable superstar to watch and to see and hear, uh, you know, do promos and everything. Because, well, even if it was something that felt kind of a little. Um, Honestly, uh, I don't. I guess I could say excessive sometimes when he would try to show how straight edge he is, saying he doesn't do drugs, doesn't drink. Like I really enjoyed uh, him wrestling. Like I really enjoyed like the kind of character he was, and how like you know he could put, he could back up his words on the mic and also back it up in the ring. Like I don't know what what more could you say? Unfortunately, it was kind of unfortunate he was. You know, the way he left, he ended his kind of WWE career because it was that basically the night after the 2014 Royal Rumble, he came to Vince saying he wanted to, he wanted to leave because plus he felt like he was being mistreated. Um, plus the doctors, when he was out suffering from a MRSA or a staph infection, they gave him antibiotics, which at one point caused him to crap his pants on SmackDown. So, yeah, not a good place to be in as far as I could tell. But CM Punk wanted is. is if he's number 10, that's no disrespect to him, he's still one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Number 9 is The Rock, which I'm sure some people would argue should be, and their list would be at the top. For me, he's only number 9 because there's some others on this list that I have that, not that they're better than The Rock, because The Rock, in all of his ways, is the greatest of all time. It's just, I don't know, sometimes when he's gone and then he just really comes back, it kind of ruins the effect of him. Or his, the, not the same mistake, the presence of him kind of gets ruined when it seems kind of every, every so often he comes back. Because I know, of course, there's no disrespect to him, he's, he's an actor. But sometimes when he comes back or whatever, it's like, oh, is this, was it really worth it him coming back when he's literally, he's, I'm sure, still doing a movie? But no disrespect to him, he's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. And his music, seeing the music kicks ass, just like Sam Fox does. Number eight is Batista. Which recent uh, a little bit ago on Twitter, I actually posted some. I shared a thing from Snapchat, Snapchat story thing from Looper about his tragic life story, which I thought was a very interesting uh, watch. And I even saw the YouTube video. He's a favorite wrestler of all time. You know, his presence always was like you know just great to see him. So yeah, there's not much more I can say about that. Kurt Angle, an all-time great. You know, specifically my favorite thing is the fact that he had such a a, almost a very fast meteoric rise. Like, what more can you say about that? Like, what more can you say? Joe Blade, you know, uh, one of my favorites, even from you know Attitude Era until now. Always great to see him wrestling. Always great to see him because you know, even if they're uh, most of the time it's when you want to hate him, great wrestler to see. Ric Flair, another all-time great. You know, what more? What? Well, there's no need for introducing him or not. Not too much more you can say. 16-time world champion. You know, what else can you say? Not much. So, we'll see Boston, number four, my favorite, uh, my all time favorite wrestlers. You know, his style, you know, the character he portrayed, you know, the n not giving a crap about authority kind of badass, you know, even the good guys sticking the middle finger out to him. What more can you say? He's a great wrestler. Undertaker, all time, my, one of my favorite wrestlers, characters, anything with Mark Calloway, The Undertaker. The man behind the Undertaker, Mark Calloway, Treme tremendous performer, awesome character. You know, he will be go he will go down as one of the most as the greatest wrestling character of all time and the most respected wrestler of all time. Number two for me, even though he would be number one, number two in this case is Jeff Hardy, one of my childhood wrestlers, childhood heroes. Uh, I would have put him number one, but at the same time, I know like you know he still has a lot to get for this business. Um, but my number one choice is Shawn Michaels. I it, it was kind of necessary. I needed to put him at number one. Did a lot of great things to the business. Even if some people say he was a bit of a jerk, but wrestling-wise, there's no one better than him. Especially even on his worst day, 
or whatever, Shawn Michaels could still put in a five out, five star performance in anything. Like, let's give examples. The two awesome WrestleMania matches with Undertaker. Oh, com completely incredible. My God. Then we had the match with him and Ric Flair, where he, where he retired Ric Flair. Great drama. Great match between the two. And then, of course, we had the first ever in Hell in a Cell match with Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker. What, uh, what more you can say? It was a five-star match, by, rated by Dowdy Meltzer. What else can you say? Uh, Shawn Michaels and everyone else in this list have always proved themselves, and that's the reason all these wrestlers here are my top ten favorite wrestlers of all time. Now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Uh, if you even if, if you disagree with my list, please don't, don't. I don't mind. Please feel free to comment below. Like if you either had, if you would switch up the order, or if you put different wrestlers in here in your top ten favorite, or even more than that if you want to. Please, I would really appreciate. You know, if, if you, you know, whether or not you agree or disagree with me, I have no problem with that. You know, everyone's opinion is their own opinion. You know, I would love to hear your guys' opinion, but please, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to comment, whether it's debating me or giving me your favorite list. I might even do a video about that, of what people said as a response. Make sure to like, and please make sure to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much, and have a good day.